dude! Dude, where am I? Ahoy there, matey, and welcome to heaven. Tis I, Saint Peter, formerly known as Simon the Sailor, before Christ changed everything in my life, that is, and made me a fisher of men. Yar, your name be written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Today at 11.30, is Samson's comedy riddle hour. He'll be bringing the house down. <laughs> Josh will be setting up dominoes in beautiful patterns. He's great at knocking them down. Lot we couldn't eat dinner tonight, so it will be a reduced sodium diet. He doesn't much care for salt. <laughs> the big terrorists will come around ye mansion tonight to tidy up a bit during the day. And there will be a Q&A session with King Solomon. Oh, by the way, you can visit God any time you want. Now, I'll be introducing you to your new neighbors. All of them are people who change the world. Ah, uh, speaking of people who changed everything, look, it's me, Adam. Wait a minute. First dude, Adam, Adam? Come here, you little... Ah, come on, come on, come on! It's not my fault. I changed everything and ruined the human race. When Eve brought me the fruit, I said to her, I said, Eve, you look here. I'm proud of you. This fruit that and disobeying God. It ends here. But I hit the fruit anyway. Speaking of eating... I'm late for dinner. He was gonna be so mad. <laughs> oh, dude, what is that most untriumphant smell? Oh, hey, Jonah. <laughs> Yo, Pete, who's. Wait, I know you. <laughs> You're Noah. You tasted the very first rainbow. You're like the Skittles dude, right? Rainbow? Well, <laughs> that's the end of my story. Except for a small part when it got a little bit tipsy. But no one remembers that. They bear in mind when God used me to change everything by saving the earth's populace. I ran it up to every critter and put it on my ark. I built it for tough. What? Well, I'm doing animal heavy now. See y'all later. All right. Uh, catch you later, Flood Dude. Whoa. Pete, who is that sweet babe? Ah, that would be Rachel, Jacob's wife. Ooh. I can see why he worked 14 years for her. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, who's that? He looks most excellent. Your home's name's Little Dave. They taught I couldn't change nothing. I showed them his my rap sheet. And as you may or may not know, I was a musician and a poet. Shout out. Yo, Sam will call me King of the House of Wit. One of my brothers. But it ended up being me and none of the others. I took a life that, what was me? On my sling? I took the away from Saul. Became the king. One of my grandchildren ended up being a messiah. And that's the end of the rap inside the drama. We never got word. And that's how I was used to change everything. Peace. Now, he had not met me first, mate. At first, our relationship was as bitter as the salty seas themselves. But together, we changed the world. Ah, oh, ha, ha, there he is now. Hello there, Cephas. And who is this mere infant in Christ? Dude! I know all about your conversion and how it changed everything for you. But I don't really know what you changed. Are you Jewish? Yep, that's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> If God had to use me to change everything in the ministry for you Gentiles, you probably wouldn't even be here right now. But may the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. All right, catch you later, epistle writing dude. <laughs> Pete, is that who I think it is? Mr. Archibald, my Sunday school teacher. Thank you. Oh, you him too. <laughs> Dude, most excellent job of teaching my Bible stories, sir. Those classes changed everything for me. They were way better than normal school. School, that reminds me. Before I got here, me and Jimmy got into a most non non heinous wreck. Where is Jimmy, my old wingman? Um, uh, I'm sorry, but his name was not written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Wait, are you saying that... No, bogus, dude. Like all these great men and women, I too could have changed everything by just telling Jimmy the truth, and I did it! It's too late for him now. Will you make the same decisions he made? Or will you too be too tired or too embarrassed to witness? Will you not feel led or feel too unprepared to witness? Or will you just be too ashamed to let anyone know that you're a Christian? You may be your friend's only chance to get to heaven. Will you change everything? Woo!